Hello ladies and gents, welcome. Today I've got another uh, resin project where we will be using these uh, fur, uh, fur pine cones and I'm gonna try the, the Prelex uh, uh, powders as well as some aluminite colors. So I'm going to be using blue and white and then blue blue per per x and micro per I think they will go together well later on on other project we'll use gold uh, spring green other stuff but for now let's give it a try I've seen a lot of other people uh, do these pine cones uh, so it's not an original idea uh, check uh, Zach Bacon's uh, he's done one so yeah there's a lot of other casters I'm I'm new to this I'm just uh, experimenting see if I can do it as well and uh, I'll be thinking of other ideas coming up with the new ideas is kind of hard it's, since it's been saturated <laughs> a lot of people do do resin project and I'm new to it I don't want to like copy their ideas but uh, it's always good to try uh, try yourself some of the uh, some of the project because it can give you more ideas if you don't try it just because others done it you're never gonna become creative so you have to try it and uh, I will put a link to other uh, who who's done it so as a thank you for their for their ideas So let's get started and mix. Okay guys, as you can see, I've cut the, the blank, which was thicker. I've cut all around it, so I'd have the middle of the cone. And these won't go to waste. I will, I'm will. i gonna make a necklace out of them. So, but uh, the reason I did this, most of you might say that's like wasting the resin but to get the effect you want instead of random cuts you'd have to like do 
this sort of thing because I want I wanted the brass tube to go right in the middle of the uh, cone to have these effects all around the pen instead of just one part of it being cone and the rest being totally totally resin so I hope you understand why I did it and these won't go to waste Guys, check this out. <laughs> I'm so happy how it turned out. Looks like a fish, fish scales. And I've buffed it up. So let's assemble it. As you can see, I've made my own pen press. You can buy like a metal one, uh, but why why spend money when you can make it yourself? Always try try it yourself. So I'm gonna have this as the top part. So I'm using a twist pen. It's a 24 karat uh, gold plate. Just as easy as that. You don't need 
uh, pampress or anything use your lathe if you if you're able to to turn pen then you have a obviously uh, a lathe so use it there's no reason to buy a pen press next we're gonna use the this part of the should be like that I think yeah oh. I think it needs to fit there No, 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 no. Okay, I've got it. It's like this. Like that. So then this can fit in there. It's been a while since I've turned a pen, so. <laughs> Oh, we, I think we should first put the nib on. Now I can There we have it guys. Okay, that's better. I love the effect that's why I try to have the uh, tube right in the middle of the cone this one actually was a little bit to the side as you can see otherwise I think this effect would have been gone it was just just by the side of the middle so I shouldn't go right at the middle I would get this effect I think this one was right in the center and i get this effect nice and round all the way around but this one is like <laughs> it's like that i like this one more than that but it's good to have both thank you all for watching i hope you liked it this is by far not a perfect pen as far as the finishing I should have add a little bit more colors but 
it's all right. I'm I'm in the testing phase because I just started doing casting. Yeah, this is the second piece I've done. First one's going for a giveaway still. It ends tomorrow, so go check that out. Thank you for watching. Take care, guys. Bye.